This is Oswego, New York. We are entering the Erie Canal system, and this will take us all the way from Lake Ontario to the Hudson River, which gets us to New York City. Well, what a thrill to arrive in New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty. The whole world is connected by waterways to these exciting cities. Out into the Atlantic here at Sandy Hook, down south, down the intercoastal waterway. Come along for the journey. This time on Distant Shores, we pick up provisions in Beaufort, North Carolina, grab some seafood in McClellanville, investigate the Naval Museum in Charleston, then it... Next leg, offshore to the Caribbean. This is traditionally a difficult trip since the wind is almost always on the nose. There are two strategies, island hopping when the weather lets you make some progress to windward, often called the thorny path, and making one big jump. As the thorny path can take upwards of two months, we opt for the jump. The strategy for this one is to wait for a cold front. This means the wind will switch from the prevailing headwinds to westerlies and let us head directly east. Then it's still a tough sail since we're into the wind for the rest of the 1100 miles as we push on to Antigua. Okay, this is a nice breezy Caribbean day. Woohoo! This is the island of Saba. Not very often visited by boats because it doesn't have a very good harbor. But there's a couple of places you can anchor just off the shore here and apparently get ashore. It's a very forbidding looking island, so much so that when Columbus was here, he didn't even bother to stop. But we are, we're going to get out and find out what's up on Saba. We could take the deep water route on the sound on the east side of the islands, but the color of the water on the shallow sandy banks is so beautiful, we'd rather face the challenges of shallow water piloting and enjoy the surroundings. 